let's make a bow for a wreath using some drop cloth fabric to create our very own ribbon. So you're just gonna get it started by ripping a piece of drop cloth in a four inch wide strip. And it's about 24 to 28 inches long, depending on the size that you want for your particular bow to be. Now I trimmed off the ends and then as I laid it out, I noticed that there was a lot of fraying on the one side where I had ripped it and decided I didn't really want the frayed look for this particular bow. So I took my fabric scissors and just kind of trimmed that up right along the edge. Now this is a personal preference. If you want to have a frayed edge, by all means go for it. I think it is awkward an actually really cute shabby look so I got all of this trimmed up here and then as I was looking closer at my uh, drop cloth I noticed it was super wrinkled so you can break out your little crafting iron I'll link mine below but just kind of give it a quick press this is gonna make it much easier to use our magnolia stencil on now this is something that you can do with any fabric. It does not have to be drop cloth. You could use any cotton fabric that you choose, but drop cloth is really easy to get and uh, really budget friendly. Now this is the Magnolia stencil in the Victoria pattern and I will put a link to this below. I just put it on the strip of drop cloth and I'm gonna cover it with this um, green ink. So this is the permanent ink that Magnolia offers um, that gives it a really nice permanent uh, color. And I absolutely adore this pattern of stencil. I love using it for multiple surfaces. And these are reusable mesh stencils, so you can use them over and over. In this particular case, I'm clearly just using it to make our very own DIY ribbon to make a bow for a wreath. Isn't that gorgeous? I just peeled it back. You're supposed to peel, squeal, and reveal your design and be super duper excited. Let me know in the comments below if you love this pattern as much as me, as well as give this video a little thumbs up. And if you don't already follow and hit that notification bell, do that while you're here. Super appreciate each and every single one of you. I will link, of course, all of the supplies that I used in the description below for you guys to shop to your heart's content but i think you're really gonna love the flexibility of making ribbon out of any fabric that you have and making your bows for your wreaths one of a kind look at that design it never ever gets old so i just continued down my strip of drop cloth until i covered the entire piece with this green stencil pattern um, you can go with any color. I almost used black. You could even do an ombre look where you blend a couple of colors together. But for the holiday season, as well as an everyday look, I stuck with this emerald green um, permanent ink from Magnolia. Look at this. Absolutely love, love, love that design. It makes anything, even cheap, uh, budget-friendly drop cloth look amazing. You'll, you'll just absolutely love this. So I'm not washing my stencil in between. As you notice, I'm just grabbing it, going, grabbing it, going. Typically you wanna wash it in between, but this is working just fine to do this strip of fabric for my DIY ribbon. So this is our final strip and I'm gonna reveal, are you squealing? That means give me some thumbs up, you guys. All right, so this is our pattern. I went ahead and hit it with the heat gun really lightly to uh, give it a really good uh, drying and make sure that it was pretty dry before I start making the bow out of this ribbon. Now you can put the stencil on both sides and I actually sort of recommend it. Um, in hindsight, I noticed that one side was a little more difficult to hide if you didn't have both sides covered with the stencil. But I'm gonna go ahead and make my bow with a zip tie, super simple bow, just laying out our drop cloth ribbon here that we've made in this crisscross fashion, pinching in the center. Once you have it pinched in the center, get it in your hands and grab yourself the zip tie. So I grabbed the green zip tie, it's coordinating a little bit there. Um, now this is a fabric um, that is a little bit floppy, so you might wanna use some stiffener in it or make it actually wired by gluing some floral wire down in the edges. 
So I went ahead and mermaid tailed the tails of this DIY ribbon so that it would just bring it up another notch in cuteness and it worked. Look at that stencil pattern. I added a little brooch to the center. I will link the bling below. And this is how it looks outside on my door on this magnolia leaf wreath. What do you think? If you like this idea, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you'll try this for your wreaths or your holiday decorations. I think it is so unique and so fun. Be sure to look at all of my bow tutorials. I will link them here as well. And I appreciate you.